Hello. Down, Helen. Helen, Helen. We want you back home. I beg your pardon. I said it is time, time you will turn back, back to us. Please, great one. Please. As you can see, I am heavily pregnant. Let me deliver this baby, please. Well, today, you are going to deliver a baby girl that will look exactly like you, but you will not survive it. Great one. Please, please. Just give me one more time. Give me more time. Let me deliver this baby. I must this baby before I return. Please. No way. No way. That was not our agreement. Goodbye. Ever since you were detailable, calm down, Mr. Allo. In fact, I advise you go home, freshen up, then come back. Uh -huh. No, 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 doctor. I would rather stick around until she's delivered at the baby. Well, but look, Mr. Allo, from all indications, it looks as if it will take a little while for the baby to come out. Uh, in that case, now, let me see her before going home. No, 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 no. She's in no mood to see you right now. Go home by the time you come back. Doctor, doctor, the woman has been delivered of the baby. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You made it. So how are you feeling? Well, I'm better today. So where is the baby? The nurse is bringing the baby. Thank you very much. Let me hold that in my hands. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Very exciting to look at. Thank you. So we'll call her Princess then? That's all right by me. What is it? What is wrong? You won't understand. What are you talking about? <sighs> Take good care of her for me. Oh God, honey, what, what are you talking about? Don't do this to me, eh? Doctor! Doctor, what is this stuff? Doctor, please come now! What is going on here? Doctor, come on. I don't know what happened. What is it, Doctor? last wish was that I draw you close to God. Grandpa. 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 Yes. How did you get to know about grandmother's dream? She appeared to me once or twice in the dream. Telling me what led to her death. I don't understand. Grandpa! Grandpa! Please tell us more about our mother. Your grandmother was the pride of my life. I cherished her so much that I did not remarry after her death. Devoting my entire life raising your mother.
Listening to music. <clears throat> Are you dead or what? She's talking to you. Hmm. Anyway, what is the money I asked you to bring today? Huh? What is the money I asked you to bring today? Are you dead or what? She's talking to you. I am not a bank, and neither am I a parent. Okay? So you this is fuck off. Are you talking to me like that? Hey, what's making this thing, this world, be so pompous anyway? Before. <laughs> what? What did I hear you say now? Or what did you say? <laughs> hmm. Baby girl, I see you with death. She said you're a buffoon. Well, baby girls, beggars. You should be in the street begging. What? Princess, you are supposed to be in school. What are you doing here? That I was sent home. By who? For what? The principal. Daddy, a girl demanded that I give her some money. I refused. She called me a buffoon. I called her a beggar. She slapped me and I retaliated. And... And... And what? She collapsed, Dad. She collapsed? Yes, Dad. Oh, my God. But, Daddy, why does it have to be me always? Why? Why? Don't worry, Princess. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. No, Dad. It's not all right. Look at my bad, Daddy. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. This is unacceptable. And I'll see the principal right away. Don't worry. Go up and change, eh? I will go and see the principal immediately. Eh? Okay, Dad. And if she doesn't give me a good explanation, I will send you to another school. I want to 
know why you woman said my daughter. Look at her. Just look at her. Calm down, sir. Please calm down. No, I demand an explanation. Look, we have been curtailing a whole lot of excesses from your daughter in this school. What excesses? Okay. Just the other day, the daughter slapped a girl who is almost twice her age. That girl almost died. That is impossible because my daughter can't even hurt a fly. Chief Agu, we are not talking about possibilities here. We are talking facts. She's here. You can ask her. Is it true? N no, Dad. No. The girl hit me first, Dad. Did you hear that? In fact, when her case was first brought to me, I want her. You can imagine how we all feel at this moment. When just this morning, she slapped another girl. And that girl almost died again. Wait a minute, Mr. Principal. Are you telling me that my little girl is a killer? Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I mean. But I believe, and I honestly believe, that we should advise your daughter to control her temper. No, oh, that's all rubbish. Princess, let's go. Okay, Dad. Chifago.
princess. Aren't you coming in? No, I have an appointment to keep. You try to be a good girl. Yes, sir. I know why you are here. you have eyes? Can't you watch where you're going? I'm sorry. I know you have eyes, so use them properly next time. Thank you. Silly guy just provoked me outside. It's okay. Just forget whoever the person is. It's okay. Thank God you're back to bed. It's all right. Ah, Greg. Do you actually know what the guy did? Ask me you forget him. Forget him. Ah, babe, let me even see what you've got. Me too. Hey. 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 <laughs> you need that change bag. <laughs> I don't have you open this one, no. This one I will Wow, wow. I'll see this thing today. Jeez. Woo! Wow. Check out gents. Mm. Oops, Juliet. Mm. I take this one. Oh my god. See this one. Yes, that reminds me, Princess. There's going to be Jens Carnival tomorrow night. Look at you. It's tonight. Hmm. Wait a minute. It's today night. Of course. Oh my god, that means well, we'll have to start getting prepared for the show. Yes, yeah, so. Huh. I'm not in the mood for any jeans kind of a party. Come on, princess. See, this particular carnival, not the very carnival. And you know what, Yam? If you no get Ivy here, this is your leg no go near deal. I don't care. Uh, don't worry, princess. Where is the venue? I know. It's at Hakwa Bay. And you know what? Pokes, Giraffe, and your main guy's town is going to be there. Stanley? Mm -hmm. Stanley is in town. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now you are talking. I beg you, give me the Who buy your business? Tell me this one. Who buy it for you? Which one go that lost now? That lost. Which one be your own? That one. 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 That Where are you coming from at this time of the night? I'm coming for a birthday party. Good evening, ma. Good evening. friend from school. Your friend from school? Yeah. That's what you say every time. Look, I don't want Adama's trouble. Please. I don't want Adama's trouble. You know how you remember how much she has suffered for us in this house. Mama, mama, mama. You know it. Mama, please, please, please. I know that. Please, please, please. Hey, I said my piece, oh. I said my piece. 
You know where we are coming from. Unless you want us to go back to where we are coming from. I just want you. Just like me. This is fantastic. You're good. What do I say now? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, that'll be all for today. Let's finish it. Just two more. Morning, Dad. Where are you? What is going on? I'm in school. Why? Uh, news this morning has it that a uh, 33 student from your school who went for a night party at the Tapa Bay got drowned. 33 what? 33 students. I'm glad that you're not one of them. What? No, um, I, I wasn't. Daddy, can I call you back later, please? My God. Who was that? My dad. Yes. He 
said 33 students drowned. My God. Jesus Christ. 33? To have your breakfast. No, ma. The next time I promise I will eat, but we just have to rush. Okay, okay. take care. Okay. So, my Bye bye. No more safe for us. Juliet is gone. Maybe I should go home and start coming from home to school. I don't think he is safe for us anymore. But, but you, don't, you don't have to go home. Fine, Juliet is dead and we all miss her, but, but you have to move on. I can't stand this place anymore. Maybe I should be coming from home to lectures. Princess, what is happening? Moving back from that. Don't tell me you're already bored of the hostel life and so much wanted experience. Juliet is dead. Good Juliet, your roommate. How did she die? She was among the students that drowned at sea. Oh, was it a pity? Okay, take your things upstairs. As you can see, we're managing to survive. Going abroad is far, far, far from our agenda. Don't you believe in God? Huh? Don't you know what God can do? Just keep on praying and leave everything in the hands of God. Huh? Unless so. Okay. 
a place to call me. Do you know what I've gone through? In fact, I was about calling in the police. Calling in the police? Yes. Oh, Daddy, come on. I'm old enough to take care of myself. Oh, so was Juliet. Okay, all right. I should have called. But it didn't cross my mind. I'm sorry. Huh? That's rather disappointing for an only daughter. on your mobile phone but to no avail. I even had to get to your room in the hostel and Pat told me you were no longer there. Uh, tell me what's happening. What is so important that you have to chase me all over the place, Danny? I beg your pardon? Look, I don't like repeating myself. Just say what you came here to say. <laughs> oh, Stan. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Very fine, sir. When did you return from London? Oh, just two days ago, sir. Ah. So how are your parents? Well, they were doing terrific when I left them, sir. Uh, please, sit down, please. Thank you, sir. Princess, you haven't even offered him anything? I, I was just going to do that, Dad. All right. It's still a usual right. Exactly. Uh, Stan. Yes, sir. I was already on my way out. That's right. Sir. I'll see you some other time. Eh? Okay. Oh, do have yourself a nice day, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, princess, I am going for a club meeting. I'll come back soon. Princess, I perfectly understand how you feel about this whole thing. Please, spare me any form of conversation. I am not in the mood right now. But what has suddenly come over you, Princess? When you're through with your drink, you know you're worn out. Princess!
What is your full name? George Wabizi, sir. The education minister? No, sir. I'm not in any way related to him, sir. So, what does your father do for a living? Sir, my father is actually late. So, oh, what a pity. Daddy, you know he's, um, he's an artist. You should see his paintings, they're brilliant. Really? Yes. So, where do you reside now? Ajangwadi, sir. When is that? It's after Koko Michael, sir. Well, in that case, I would like to see your painting. Yeah? Get them across to me. Yeah? I'll do just that, sir.
I've been waiting for you. George, where did you get money to buy all this? Mama, she is rich. Mama, I see this one get money. Look, George, don't tell me you've got another girl. Mama, I better forget Adama, forget Adama. I didn't talk of person who get need money. This one get need money, get money. How? How? My princess now. Princess is a real princess, Mama. She get money. Mama, you know, see, princess is the only daughter of one man we get bank for this country. Go, go, go. Which princess? Same princess now. You mean the princess that comes to my house? Uh -huh. That pounds food for me? Uh -huh. Place my hair? Uh -huh. You mean seeing Papa get bank? Uh -huh. Mama. Princess! Mama, bank! Mama, bank! Bank! See, Mama. Okay, Mama. See, see, see. Wow. Bye, bye, shoe. Bye, bye. Mama, I don't waste time. I don't just waste time. I just propose to her straight and she agree. Come. George, you sure saying Papa go accept? Uh, that's one thing I, I know if you talk now, but I get confident say you agree because princess love me well. well. Uh, Sam, if your Papa no agree, make you agree for her. Uh -huh. As, as, as I be my son, I should say my son. He get the thing where women want. Uh -huh. eh? Eh? See, Mama, that one, that one, Mama. See, you know, see, we did level two now. Eh? We, we go to shoot the level, level three. If everything just jail. Eh? See, we don't pack come up for this area. Pack come up for this area. Come, 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 come up for here. We call the big man life, oh, Mama. Shut up. I don't know what comes up from. Princess. Princess. Yes, sir. I really think you shouldn't be encouraging that young man. Why? You ask why? Can't you see he is not your match? Daddy, George will be defending his project next week. So what better match would you recommend? What about Stan? Both of you used to get along very well. And besides, he's from a decent home. I'm not interested in Stanley. Well, I advise you get along with someone with a more concrete prospect. Not a cold digger. Well, for your information, Dad, George and I are in love with each other and we're engaged to be married next week. What did you just say, Mrs? What has come over you? Probably begin the run, no run, kati kati, come on there. Mama, I will be fine. Okay, I will be fine. Okay. If you don't need my English, you can't. Take care of yourself, eh? I'll come and see you tomorrow.
princess. Are you okay? Have you taken any drug? Why don't you see, do you see Dr. Samson immediately? Yeah, I'll see him tomorrow. Or rather later today. I'll, I'll go and see him. That's okay. You can go upstairs now. Really, you're pregnant. Pregnant? Who's a lucky guy? He's, he's not in the country at the moment. I guess you have to be coming to the hospital for a regular medical checkup. Thank you, doctor. Princess, Princess, what did this report about you not being <laughs> And you've not been yourself lately. What is the matter? <laughs> Look, I am your father. Discuss your problems with me. What is the matter with you? Everything will be okay. Yeah? 
I know he's fine where he is and we'll see him soon. I just hope so. I hope so. I have to go now. I have some things to do. My daughter, come in and give me my door. Thank you. I don't have a time. Please, my daughter, do not hesitate to tell me whenever you have me. Oh? Yes, I will. Mean, thank you. Just take care of yourself. Okay. Take care of yourself. Stop crying. Please, take care of yourself. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mama in the meantime. Well, that will kill me if he finds out. Pregnant, princess. Doctor Simpson told me. So you are planning to run away with that gold digger. If I catch that young man, I am going to strangle him with my own hands. Daddy, George has been away for the past few weeks. I haven't heard from him. What have I done wrong, princess?
What is it? Listen. 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 How is my mother now? 
Please calm down, okay? Calm down. My daughter is in labor up to this time. Well, 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 uh, Chief Ago. We have given her oxytocin to induce labor. So I suggest you go home and come back in say five hours time. Go home and come back. No, doctor, I would rather stick around. Stupid. The fact that you'll be so understanding does not give you the right to underestimate us, your rightful lineage. What do you want from me this time around? After looking into your case, we have decided to let you stay in the world for one full year so that you can take adequate care of our babies. Mama! Mama! It's me, Mama! George! Mama! George! This is 
This person, you have to be nice to her because she is my life in America. But princess, I Mama, me. please forget about princess, okay? Mama, don't you want to move out of this place? Okay. What I am today is because of this person in the car. So is this girl now? Yes. Are they she bang bang is behind you? American, Mama. So please, just be nice to her, please. Are they bang bang behind you? Mama, darling. Mama, darling. You're welcome, nice to you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey! You're welcome. Hey! 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 Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama. Wait, what's match on my hand. As a match on your mother's blood. Oh. Match on your mother's blood. This is not that. Just match on your mother's blood. Come. Okay. Come. Thank you. Come and see my judge. Come and see my judge. It's not easy. Come and see my judge. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Oh. He has done it for me, oh. He has done it for me, oh. God has done it for me, oh. So God will come back. Yes, I'm happy. I am happy, oh. Everybody should come and see my job. It's not easy. It is not easy. Hey! Judge is back. Hey! days ago? Yeah. So, so how, how are you? Sweetheart, what's taking you so long? Uh, she, she 
Zelda, um, um, this is Princess, um, Princess, um, she or my, my wife. Nice to meet you. What did you just, what did you just say to me, George? father's money to send you abroad? And what are you saying to me? George, you're an ungrateful bastard. You are a selfish bastard. Princess, Princess, I don't want any noise in this house. Do you hear me? That's what This is Sheila, my son's wife and my wife. So you can go. I should go home. I should go home. I said you don't go! Can't you hear me? Are you deaf? Oh, come on, my mama. Come on, come on. Go on. Go on! Mama, mama, you can't do this. Don't mama me! Mama, don't mama me! Don't let it get this time. You can't do this. Don't let it get this time. Nonsense. Don't you ever snap this house again. Alright? Don't! Look, as of today, your validity has expired in this house. Don't you ever come back to this place again. Go! Go with your father! Nonsense! him dead. Use your powers. All you need to do is will it and it shall come to pass. The bar is in your court. Now living in darkness has become my home, my home. Love was made for me and you in your mother house I fell in love with you you went away you broke my heart oh baby Looking for one Miss 
Princess Agu. Does she live here? Yes, she be Mandy. Okay, tell her we want to see her. I wait in be your name now. Tell her that it's Mama George. Mama George. Mama George. Wait, make her call and for up. My auntie talks saying she doesn't want to see anybody. We are police officers. Now, take us where she is. I am Detective Sergeant Goro, and this is my colleague, Sergeant Obi. I suppose you're Miss Princess Alba. Yes, she's my daughter. And what is the problem? Yeah. Hmm. The police have cause to believe that your daughter here murdered one Mr. George Wamboise yesterday night. What? Oh, that is impossible. Here is the warrant of arrest. Daddy, Daddy, I didn't do it. I don't know what they're talking about. I didn't do yes, it. Sir. It's written on your face. You can see that. Why did you kill my son? Why did you kill my only son? You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say or do shall be used against you in the court of law. Princess, just go with them. Let me go up and change. I'll come with you. <laughs> shall we? that George had been shot. I was very uneasy. I was, I was uncomfortable. I woke up at the start. So the following day, I went to his mother's house to, to share my dream with her. I was shocked when George opened the door for me. I was surprised. Because I had no idea that, that he was around. I never threatened him. I swear to God, Dad. I never threatened him. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's it. okay. That's enough. Someone else certainly shot him. Yes, of course. Police is just waiting at that. Merely on suspicion. Yes. Because they know that she has the motive. But if her alibi is watertight, she could get off the hook. Um, Princess, that will be over now, okay? Princess, okay? Chief Adol, I'll be waiting outside. Please, I'm calling. Daddy. If I don't leave this place alive, take care of John and Mary for me. What are you talking about? Of course you're getting out of this place alive. You don't understand now. So many strange things have been happening in my life which are which are beyond human understanding. Like what? When you get home, check the CD rack in the living room. There's a diary there. Everything you need to know about me 
is written inside it. Muhammad, at least can't you shed light on any one of them? There is no time for that, Dad. Don't worry. You'll find out everything you need to know from the diary. Daddy, please don't fail to draw my children closer to God. Daddy, please. Daddy, promise me. Daddy, promise that you you draw them closer to God. Dad. Promise. The Queen of the Coast appeared to me today. She sounded very, very bitter about my wanting to remain here on Earth. She said my time was almost up. Today, the Queen came. She said they were giving me just one year to enable me with my babies very well. I think the queen is the great grandmother of my mother. Incredible. My daughter's life is in danger. Supposing you were engaged to a man, 
you then facilitate his movement to another country. And when he comes back from that country, he is married to another woman. What will you do to that man? Objection, your lordship. Defense counsel is still leading the witness. Sustained. Counsel, I'm warning you for the last time. Real phrase. Your lordship. It's very interesting, this honorable court, to know that after the deceased had traveled to Holland, the accused discovered that she was pregnant for him. And with the able support of her father, she had a safe delivery of a set of queens who were allowed close to 12 months oh. of age. Oh. Order! Come, sir. You may continue. Thanks, Your Lord. So, Mrs. Mwakwesi, if you have two kids for a man who incidentally is not aware of it, would you be in such a hurry to kill him? Would you? No, I wouldn't. Excuse me, please. I've been looking at this face. I don't know, have we met before? No, I don't think so. Maybe in school or something. Of course not. Oh God, I've been trying to reach my driver. But the line is not just going. Sorry, I don't know. Would you mind giving me a lift to the island? But you're defending the daughter of one of the wealthiest men in this country. So why can't he take you to where you're going? Oh, yeah. oh, oh yes, you are very correct. And I take that to be no, right? Thank you. talk to you about this lady. Is she not Susie, your late son's girlfriend? Let me see. She's the one who but she has seen so much. Right. I've come to ask you a few questions. Madam. Madam Moya. You asked too many questions. The other day in the court, you were asking questions. Today again you are here. You are asking questions. Are you not tired of asking questions, eh, madam? Madam, eh? that's my job, okay? First, I'd like you to please tell me where this lady lives. 
I don't know where she stays. Even if I know, why should I tell you? Because she might be the one who actually killed your son. Princess pointed her out in court the other day. Yes, I saw her, but I didn't know it was her. Uh, madam, I was told she didn't like the way you and your son treated her some time ago. So she vowed to come back for revenge someday. I'm tired of all this. My son is dead. And the case is in the court. The court is taking care of the case. So let them decide. Wait a minute, madam. As a mother, if your husband abandoned you for another woman, um, would you kill him? I mean, knowing too well that you have a son for him. Oh, yeah. Mother, don't you ever have grandchildren. You are the architect of your son's death. Shut up! Huh? You would have said that when you were here. Shut up and knock out that part of caution, caution head. Idiot! granddaughter into trouble. Princess is my granddaughter and this is her mother. Princess is the stupid people of the world. Is it a taboo for my daughter to be loved by a man she loves? But, 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 uh, uh, I don't understand. Uh, I, I can't. I'm giving you two options. It's either you take yourself to the powers that be on earth and confess your crime, or you will remain mad for the rest of your life. You have been warned. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. I have it here on tape. Yes, sir.
Yeah, who is it? Lena. Sign a position for a job well done. Well, I'm afraid, madam, I can't accept that. Okay. Um, you see, I'm new around here and I came here for business. I was just thinking, you know, if you can tell me someone that can take me around, show me places, assist me, you know, here and there.
give it a shot. I still don't understand. What will your clients need a tin of tomato and tins of milk for? Judge, you won't understand. But these are foreign samples of products which need to be confirmed before importing. Be very careful, Judge. So come on, run along. Okay. I presume you have enough money with you. I'll see you later.
the door is open. Get a bottle of chili. Uh, madam, I have clothes for the day, but my colleague will do that. And who could that be? George. Okay.
Kisses. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. Well, Judge, meet my younger sister, Anita. Anita, George. Hi, George. Not Hi. bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. You're welcome. She has said so much about you. Mm, I hope she said nice things. Yeah, sure. Of course, <laughs> nice things. <laughs> Just sit down. All right, thank you. And if I get in something cold, so take it, take it, okay? I'll be with you in a jiffy. What's this big boy taking? Anything soft you will do. You're not serious. Just a soft drink. Yes. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, and um, Anita, you join us, right? No, no, no. Go have fun. I don't want to go. Let's go have fun. Don't mind her. Don't mind her. Let's go. Come on, let's go in. Let me just go. Dress up. Is there any time? There's nobody feeling any time. Uh, are you sure what you're saying? We, we live here. But the, the, my mother was went out. Mm. They have sold the, the government have sold the, the house to my mother. My, my, my. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a 
this a sign? Or what? What kind of dream is this? Having listened to the confessional statement in this tape recorder and having gone through the evidence at my disposal, I find Miss Princess Agu not guilty as charged. She is hereby discharged and acquitted. Children, let's take it. 